Uh, oh yeah, Chrissy Teigen's pregnant, isn't it? And I could give a crap, but God damn it, man! Is there a more insufferable celebrity on the planet right now than Chrissy Teigen? She's probably more insufferable than someone like a Lena Dunham, Lena Dunham, right? Former, oh yeah, the 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 creator of Girls. Um, and again, she does nothing wrong. Similar to Lena Dunham, right? She's just you know a young woman trying to navigate through the world. It's difficult, you know, with all the influence and power and the money that they have. I'm mean, understandable. It's very difficult to actually make it work. But God damn it, Chrissy Teigen makes it hard to like her. Um, she's you know what a former model who married um you know a very popular pop star in Jod Legend, and has somehow segued you know, her being a partner of a very famous singer into a career of, you know, cookware and food recipes and child rearing stuff and just, you know, annoying political clapbacks. Like she's just so, so annoying. And you just know this pregnancy, like with all fucking pregnancies, right? We're seeing Katy Perry everywhere. She's getting interviewed by every fucking publication on the sun because, you know, someone decided to unload a clip in her. And it's like, God almighty, man, when did pregnancies become so important like people give birth big deal like why are you like what why did why did these become a, a content farm right and a, a, a content generator actually because you know they're going to have weeks and weeks and weeks of content that they're going to be pushing out leading up to the birth leading up to the gender reveal leading up to the name reveal the first call the first this it's just going to be boring continual stuff and again i understand you could say yeah if you're not a fan of hers just don't tune in but that's not the point we're at a point now in social media that sometimes even if you don't want to know about these people's lives you get to know about them because it pops up on the right hand side of your bloody trending feed and suddenly now you've got information in your head you don't know you actually even wanted or you don't actually care for that's the annoying part of it they always find a way to bloody kind of bleed into your life and sort of tell you things and inform you about stuff and give you their opinion on topics that you have no care about right in my in my case i've got this little show that i'm doing here on youtube but if you didn't know about me you'd have no idea i exist no idea i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't um i wouldn't break through your third wall because i am not as bloody uh, virally relevant as somebody like a Chrissy Teigen, right? She steps on a bloody stone, it makes the news. She trips uh, on her kid's toy, that makes the news, right? Everything makes the news. It's just, oh, enough already, man. Enough. But you just know she's going to just bombard us with content for a bloody week about her being pregnant. All oh, this and that. Do that weird photo shoot that all the girls do where they're kind of a weird deity because they have a, a little person growing inside them like every other person did before they ever existed in the history of time. It's just, it's a weird thing, isn't it? It really is. Like, I would want no parts of it. You see that video of Harry Kane trying to do the gender reveal, kicking a ball uh, into the balloon or whatever it did in a goal and it bursting and revealing the color, the gender color, the, the color of the kid. That'd be funny. Pop side, it's mixed race. But no, um, the gender of their child is like, what are people doing? Oh, it's so annoying, man. Everyone wants to have a little reality TV show, innit? Everyone wants to be the star of their own movie. And it's like, God, man, if you were more interesting, it would make it a lot more compelling to view. But just being, you know, I don't know, a person that says stuff on the internet and then wanting us to care about your pregnancy, like, come on. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, maybe it's just me. Maybe. It's just me.